Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel and we are continuing this collective haul. It's going to be part two. In case you guys missed the first part where I talked about all the new stuff at Walmart and Target, I will have it linked up here or somewhere or down below. That way you guys can go check it out in case you are interested in those products. Today we are talking about all things at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. I think there's a couple things that I ordered online, but for the most part, it's all from those stores. And oh my gosh, I am glad that I waited because I did some more shopping at TJ Maxx and Marshalls the other day and I found some gems. So we're gonna be talking about something that I usually don't talk about on my channel and to be honest I really wasn't into like handbags and purses until this but now I think it's safe to say I have unlocked a new obsession and that is the last thing that I need because obviously I love fragrance and body care and we're still gonna be talking about that stuff but I found so many new handbags and like little backpacks a whole collection basically like I basically started a new purse collection at this point. So we're gonna be getting into that, getting into the body care. We have a little bit of everything. This video was probably gonna still be really long even though I broke it up into these two parts. In case you guys are new here and never watched any of my videos before, I do videos all about hygiene, body care, and fragrance, a ton of different haul videos. So if you're into that as well, I would love to have you subscribe. And also don't forget to turn on your post notifications. That way you guys won't miss an upload. I will also have my TikTok and Instagram linked down below as well. So grab yourself a snack and let's get into it. Okay, usually I'm I am just as excited for like body care and things, but I think we need to talk about these purses, okay? I was never really a purse girl. Like I've always had a purse, like, you know, I always carry a purse whenever I go out and things, but I never really had a massive purse collection. Oh, maybe like a few years ago, especially when I was like younger, I was really into purses at a time. But, like the past two years, I've been basically carrying around the same bag. I kind of rotate between like two of them. I stumbled across more of like the Juicy Couture side of TikTok and Instagram, and everybody always shares their like Juicy Couture purse finds. And I had been looking for them like every now and then whenever I would go into TJ Maxx and Marshalls, but I never really had any luck. And then I started seeing some posts of people finding new collections of bags. So I guess they kind of, drops and new bags to bring into stores. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna stay ahead of the game and go to the stores and see what I can find. And I literally hit the jackpot, which was great because I was like wanting to treat myself and I had been wanting a new bag. So you're gonna see, I, I went a little crazy with the Juicy Couture bags. You know, I'm hoping this is like a safe space here, you know, judgment free because I did go a little bit crazy, but also very, very excited to share all of these with you. So let's go ahead and get into the purses first. First, let's talk about this little guy right here. I don't know if I'm gonna take all of these out of the boxes right now. I don't know. I don't know if I want to take them out of the boxes just yet, but I will show you guys. So this is just a little crossbody bag. It has the black strap here, has a little bit of like the gold detail here on the chain. And I just think this is so cute. And hopefully you guys will be able to tell that it's like a black fur. It is so adorable. This one I could not pass up. They had a few other fur bags, which I'll share like little videos that I took in stores because they were definitely a lot more in stores at the time whenever I went. They had one that was like pink, um, like a furry pink crossbody. They also had this in like a leopard print, which was really cute. And this I purchased at TJ Maxx. So right now, I guess they're kind of getting ready for the holiday season. So a lot of these like gift bag, like purse sets are coming out at the moment. And it's really cute because they're in like an actual gift box. And this I think was $20, let me see. Yeah, so this was $19.99 and as you can see, it has a little keychain here at the top also, which I think is just so, so cute. I cannot wait to pull this out. So typically I usually wear like a little small kind of like shoulder bag or something like that. I do have another black crossbody that I usually wear and I kind of rotate between those two just because I do usually wear black. I don't wear a lot of color and you know, this is just gonna go with everything. So I thought would be perfect for just kind of like an everyday casual bag just because it is so small and it is a crossbody so it'll just be easy to take with you whenever you're going shopping or just running errands. I don't know, I'll maybe do like a purse collection because I do have new bags coming in. So at that point I'll have like everything out of the box and I'll go a little bit more into detail if you guys want. But yeah, I just quickly wanted to show these because there's quite a lot in here to go through. I don't know how long this video is already gonna be. Okay, we'll start off with this next one here. I don't know what style this is. I know nothing really about purses like I don't know about the style of handbags or anything like that but this was just so cute I'm trying to get it to focus but I 
I could not leave this behind. I'm just obsessed with this. I love the size of it. I don't have a lot of larger bags, especially in this size and in this shape. So yeah, I knew this one had to come home with me. So this I also got at TJ Maxx and this was $29.99. So still a really good price. Like the quality is there in these bags. Like it just feels so nice. There's no like messed up like little stitches or anything like that. This is just in perfect condition and it does come with a separate strap here. You could always do it like a crossbody or something, but it looks like the actual strap here on the side, it doesn't detach. I have a couple other bags where I have like separate purse straps that I can clip on and swap them out. So this, I think I would actually end up having to mess it up and like permanently remove the strap if I wanted to take it on and off. So I'm probably just gonna leave it, although I kinda did wanna put in like a thicker purse strap. We'll see, maybe eventually I will decide to do that, but for now, this one will do. And yeah, I just love this one. They do also have it in a matching backpack, like the same style, the same type of material and everything. But I don't know, I did get a couple other mini backpacks, which I'll show you guys. But the one that matched this was a little bit larger and. And I don't know, just the size of it, I don't think I would have really used it as an actual purse. It was like a little bit too big. I'm gonna be saying I love all of these because I literally do. I cannot wait. I don't even know which one I should start using first, but I'm thinking it might be this one. I don't know, we'll see. This one I think was the most recent find, and this one I found at Marshalls, and I was just, I could not believe I found this one because I had seen this one on TikTok, either like on TikTok or like a reel that someone posted, and it was just kind of hidden there in the back at Marshall's. So whenever you're looking through the purse section, like really get in there, get in between, look at the back row. You just never know what you can find. So I don't know if someone was like trying to hide this or what, but I spotted it. I saw the little red heart here and it is just beautiful. So it's pretty similar to this one here, but this is like all black fur and it's super nice. It feels just like that little crossbody that I got. I don't know if I'm gonna be keeping this just because I don't know how I feel about like the combination of the black and red. I might actually end up putting like this little black heart that's on this one. Maybe I'll do that. I think I would like the look of that better, just like black on black. But this did all come together. And like I said, I got it at Marshall's and this was $27.99. Okay, so you might see that I went a little bit crazy with the mini backpacks. I love mini backpack purses. And the first one I got here is this black one. It's kind of like that sherpa material similar to like how it is on this bag over here but it's just a solid black and it comes with a little um card holder here it's like very shiny it has a little heart that says juicy here and it also comes with this little key ring that also says juicy i think that's so cute so you can always attach it to the little zipper on the front and then use this as your little wallet so i thought this was adorable so it is kind of like more what is this like a patent leather just like a little bit more like a shiny leathery material same with the straps here as well which typically i don't like because it's really hard to completely smooth out the straps like it'll leave kind of like dense where it was folded together hoping that'll kind of smooth out easily this is like the perfect size for a little backpack purse like it's nothing too big but you can still hold a good amount of stuff in here this I also got at TJ Maxx and this was $29.99 for this set another little backpack gift set here also found this at TJ Maxx so it's the same as the black one that I got but this is like the brown, I don't know, kind of like faux leather type of material. I don't really know what this is called, but it says Juicy Couture all over the front. It's the same exact size as the black backpack, and it comes again with the little card holder and the same little juicy key ring. I'm probably gonna add some of these to like some of the bigger bags that I got since I have a few of these now, but I love the fact that the card holder matches the backpack. Like it just looks so cute together. I don't really have a lot of brown handbags or anything like that. I definitely don't have anything similar to this. And it's just solid brown here on the back and the straps as well this just feels like such good quality to me i just love the look and the colors and everything about this bag so i decided to get this one since i definitely don't have anything in this color or similar to this one and then the last one that i got another little mini backpack i was like do i really need three of these but they are different you know like one's like the fuzzy black one then i have like the brown one and this one is like a pink faux leather and it is so cute i don't have very many pink bags and this is actually what i was on the hunt for like i wanted a pink 
Juicy Couture bag and I feel like those are much harder to find. You can find the other ones in like black or maybe like the black floral, something like that. But like the pink ones, these go fast. These are definitely harder to find. So again, same exact style of backpack with the card holder and the key ring. I would say I probably had the best luck at TJ Maxx. Then I found a few at Marshalls. You can also find Juicy Couture bags at Ross in Burlington and I heard sometimes even Dee Dee's discount. I went into a few Rosses. I didn't have any luck as far as handbags there. I did get one other like mini thing. They had a few juicy bags at Burlington but none that were really my style for what exactly I was looking for. For me, I think more than likely I'll just be sticking with TJ Maxx and Marshalls because they have all the different gift sets and a lot of like the newer bags and like the styles that I'm into. So yeah, I was hitting the jackpot and I am so happy. Okay, this next one here, this might be my favorite find. And this actually, I was like manifesting it. I wanted to find it. This is the one that really kind of started the whole hunt. And this is the Mommy and Mini Me set. So I first saw this on TikTok, I think. I saw like a little clip of it. And I was like, yep, I need that because I love the style and like shape of this bag. Technically, this is supposed to be like yours. And, you know, if you have a little Mini Me, then y'all can have matching little handbags. But of course, you know, I don't have any kids, it's just me, so I'm gonna be using both of these bags. Let me switch sides here. Um, this box is like pretty large. I actually like this little mini small one just because, you know, sometimes I'm probably not gonna be in the mood for wearing something this large. And this can like hold everything. It can still hold my phone, my card, my keys, things like that. And you can still use it as like a little crossbody. I did find it at TJ Maxx and it was for $39.99, which I think is a really good price for these two bags. Again, the quality is there like it feels so nice i love the color combination the brown print with the pink i just think it looks so cute i don't think i saw anyone finding it like at ross or burlington so if you're on the hunt as well I would suggest probably either TJ Maxx first and then maybe checking Marshalls as well. Okay, so like I said, I found one thing at Ross and this was $10, well, $9.99. And it's a little Juicy Couture like makeup cosmetic bag. And it's like basically all like pink velvet and with the gold zipper. I haven't even opened this yet. It just has like black lining on the inside, like pretty plain. I just thought this was adorable. It's like so soft. Yeah, this was exactly what I was looking for. So that was the only thing really I saw at Ross. They had a couple other other bags but they were just in different styles and prints that I personally like wasn't a huge fan of yeah I didn't really have the best luck there and then the very last one that I got this is actually not a juicy couture one it's by the brand laundry and this was $20 as well and I don't know if you can tell by the material here it's like that like sweater what is it Sherpa I keep saying that I don't even know if that's correct or not but it is a super soft like it is all completely like the same type of material down to the handles it also comes with a separate strap here that you could wear you know over your shoulder or as a crossbody I love this bag I love the shape of it it feels so soft it literally feels kind of like a teddy bear and I just can't wait to use this one especially when it's like actually fall here or once it starts to get a little bit colder this I will definitely be wearing and it's pretty simple it's kind of like a little tote bag this is gonna be one of those bags whenever I'm just like not in the mood to have everything organized. I just want to throw a few things in here. This is going to be like my go-to bag for that. And it's actually pretty roomy as well. So I know I'll be able to hold a lot of stuff in here. But yeah, that was my massive Juicy Couture purse haul that I have kind of collected over the past few days. I know it's a lot going on here, but keep in mind, I hadn't really purchased a new purse in probably about two years. So I think I definitely made up for that time that I haven't purchased anything. And now I have a whole new purse collection to play around with. So if you guys want to see some of the other purses that I got, so I did get a few other like pink purses and some like really affordable ones that I ordered online. So if you guys want to see more of like a purse collection, let me know and then I'll go a little bit more in depth. And by that point, I'll have everything unboxed. Sorry, this wasn't like super detailed. I just wanted to quickly show you guys and get it up. That way you guys can go find these because I know they probably sell out really fast. But let's go ahead and get into the body care stuff. So I have a little bit of everything in here. Let's go ahead and start off with this little set here from Hemp's. I actually got this 
probably about two weeks ago, I was at the hair supply store, which by the way, I don't know if I mentioned, but I did dye my hair. But basically whenever I was picking up the hair color, I saw a little stand of like Hemp's lotions and they had these out. I did not see anything about these. I had no idea what these were, if they were like new or old. But I actually just saw the other night that Hemp's made a post about these. So I guess these are new and they probably will be in stores like Ulta or they'll have them online. But it's this Body Butter Limited Edition Collection. So it's this little duo here. And this is for my gourmand lovers because these body butters this one right here this one is called raspberry ribbon jam cookie dough and then we also have a sugar cookie dough body butter i knew i had to get these they come in these little tubs here super cute and i have already tried them once before so i'll just kind of smell them again this sugar cookie one this smells so good to me and it literally it smells like a cookie it has a little bit of spice to it so it's kind of reminding me a little bit more of like a snickerdoodle or I don't know, there's just like some type of holiday cookie that I've had that smells like this one, but it's not just plain straight up sugar. It definitely has a little bit of spice to it. It's very warm and it just reminds me of like fall and winter and the holidays. A very cozy, like edible gourmand scent. And then the other one here, the raspberry ribbon jam cookie dough. This one actually, I don't know you guys. This one, okay. Wait a second. Okay, I had to go back and smell it because I was gonna say I wasn't a huge fan of it, but now smelling it again, I'm like, wait, this actually smells pretty good. This does smell a little bit more like vanilla buttercream, like, like frosting kind of. I do get that hint of like fruitiness, which I guess is the raspberry. It's not super strong. I would say out of the two, I get more from the sugar cookie one. But yeah, definitely not a bad scent. If you have raspberry jam donut, like the mist or something like that, you can layer it with this. And the two together, that's gonna smell so, so good because raspberry jam donut is already strong on its own. I think the two together would smell amazing. So yeah, keep your eye out for this one if you're a fan of the Hemp's lotions. I know they are usually pretty expensive, but I've always been a fan of their formula. They're just, it's so nice. They just have such nice lotions. I love the texture of these. And since these are a body butter, they are a little bit more on the thicker side. And it's a little bit heavier than they're just like standard body lotions. Next up here is something that I ordered online. And I actually found this on Amazon. And I really did not know this existed. Like I have been missing out on this because if you've watched in my videos before, you have probably at some point heard me talk about the J.R. Watkins Lemon Cream Body Wash. I also have it in the lotion and the hand cream and I'm just obsessed with that scent because it smells like lemon pound cake or lemon ring pie. It is very gourmand, but it's like a sweet lemon gourmand scent, which I don't think you get many of those scents very often, so that's why that one is just so good. But they also have it in a body oil mist and this smells delicious. Yeah. Yeah, this smells so good. It literally smells like iced lemon pound cake. I can't even put into words how good this smells because I just love it so much. If you smelled the body wash before, this smells just like the body wash, if not even better. And this is something that you can just put all over your body. I have a few other lemon scents, but one that I think some of you might already have in your collection that is pretty affordable is the Mary Cookie that came out last year for the holidays because that one actually had a lemon note and like a sugar cookie note. I think that'll really help bring out that lemon note in Mary Cookie and that would smell so good together. But either way, even just on its own, this I think is worth it. It was around $8 or so. I did put together an Amazon storefront, which I do already have this linked. So I'll have that down below as well. And then I made a little stop at Kohl's. I hadn't been to Kohl's in a long time because because I think there's only like maybe one store around me and it is a little bit more out of the way but the main reason why I go there is because they carry Scentworks and Scentworks is a brand that I kind of go and revisit every now and then. They do put out newer collections depending on the season kind of similar to Bath and Body Works, but they don't put out nearly as like many scents. But they did put out a new fall collection and these at the time, whenever I got them, were like 60 or 70% off. So I got these at a great deal, it was around $5. This is in the scent Honey Drizzled Pumpkin. So I ended up getting the fragrance mist and then I also got the body cream. So very similar packaging wise to Bath and Body Works. They do maybe have like some similar scents, but this one to me, I don't know if there's a scent from Bath and Body Works that really smells like it. I think it smells pretty good. I wouldn't pay full price for this. 
This is regular price of $14.50, but if you can get it on a really good sale, it might be worth it. It has notes of drizzled honey, fresh pumpkin, and creamy vanilla. I like this more so whenever I first spray it. The dry down can be a little off somewhat. I don't know if it's just like the way it settles on my skin or what, but whenever I first spray it, I'm really getting that like honey drizzle. It smells so good, very warm and sweet, but there's something about the way it starts to kind of dry down my skin that I'm a little unsure about. So I don't think personally this would be a scent that I would wear on its own. I would probably layer with something else, but I also think it would make a really good layering fragrance, especially because I do have a few other fragrances with like honey notes. I have a lot of pumpkin fragrances, so I know I can find some way to make this work. I would say like the longevity and like the strength of these is about the same as Bath and Body Works. There are some that are better than others, but you know, I mean, it's kind of like a basic body mist. You're going to get maybe a few hours wear out of it at most. And then the body creams, they do have a nice formula as well, like nothing too sticky or too heavy. I don't know if they're like absolutely necessary to grab unless like you really like a scent, then maybe go pick it up. But yeah, I just picked these up because they were on such a good deal. But yeah, I hadn't tried any of the newer scents. Like I kind of passed on the whole scent work summer collection. Nothing really caught my attention, but of course, I really look forward to like their fall and winter scents because usually those are like the warm, sweet scents. I ended up getting one other mist and this one is called Falling For You. And I just got this one in just the mist. I didn't really feel the need to get it in like the body lotion or the body cream, which by the way, they did recently come out with body scrubs and body butters, which I don't think they had had before. I've never seen any of the other scents in those forms. So I don't know if that's something new that they're doing, but they did have like the full line in all of these fall scents. Same with this one as well. Falling For You has notes of cinnamon, vanilla, sweet apple, and sugar glaze. This season, like the past month or so, I am just all about... I knew that was gonna fall. I knew that was gonna happen. But I've just been all about apple scents. I love trying out different ones and this one just smells like apple pie but not really like not quite as gourmand but it has that like apple spice note to it it is like very sweet kind of like sugary but that cinnamon note in there i mean it does stand out you can smell the cinnamon a little bit of the vanilla and kind of like a candied apple i think there's other apple scents that i definitely like more than this one but i think that's you know it's a cute little scent i could always just use it as a room spray as well because i actually think this would be really good in like a home fragrance but i'm kind of on the fence of like actually wearing it it's not a bad scent but i'm not totally in love with it you know if it would have been any more than like $5 or so I probably wouldn't have got it but Scentworks also comes out with candles as well and they have really nice candles really good scents also so maybe if you're not really interested in the body care you can still check out the candles they usually have good sales on those also but now let's get into our second and final bag here and I think for the most part all of this is from TJ Maxx maybe some stuff from Marshalls as well okay we got to talk about this line. It's been out, I think, before, but especially during, like, the Halloween and, like, fall season, they are coming out with so many new body mists. We got to talk about this brand, The Good Scent, and they have so many new scents. I meant to share these a while ago. I shared them on my Instagram whenever I first found them, but, yeah, let's talk about these because these are such a good find. Really affordable price also, and I picked up a few scents. I had to change out my camera battery, and I also had to turn on the AC, so I hope that's not loud, but for some reason I was just like getting hot in here. I got hot ever since I was like showing all the purses. Back to these fragrance mists. So let's talk about the ones I grabbed first, because these are more of like the Halloween theme, and I just think the packaging, the names of these, I love the fact that they put scent notes on here. And even the scent notes, like the description of these, kind of fit a Halloween theme. So I just think they're so cute. And most of these I found at Marshalls, but there are a couple that I found also at TJ Maxx. All the first ones here are all from Marshalls, and they are $5.99. So let's first talk about this one here. The packaging, for one, it's giving candy corn, and it is called candy corn. And this is the one I kind of like saw floating around Instagram a little bit. And once I saw those scent notes, like once I laid eyes on those scent notes, I knew I had to find this one. And luckily, whenever I first went to Marshalls, they had them all there. So I didn't have to go searching for them. But this one in candy corn has notes of warm sugar, almonds, and marshmallow accord. That is like all of my favorite things wrapped up into one. That is so delicious. And it smells just as good. I'm getting the marshmallow. As far as like the warm sugar... 
yeah, it does smell like sugar, but it mostly smells like marshmallow and kind of like caramel. It's very warm and sweet and decadent. It just, it smells edible, which I really like. I know like a lot of people, they don't like candy corn. I personally, I don't know. I don't know why, but I don't mind it. Of course, it's not like my number one favorite candy or something that I would go out of my way to buy. But if it's like there and I'm kind of bored, like I will eat it. Why can I go into that? Okay, well, my point is, even if you don't like candy corn, I think you'd still enjoy the scent because... To me, this smells like caramel. That's mainly what I'm getting from this, and to me, that smells so good because I do have a few other fragrances with a caramel note, but I don't really have just like a straight up caramel body spray. Usually my go-to whenever I really want to bring out a caramel note, I go for coconut cream pie, but you know, it still has that strong kind of like coconut scent, like the toasted coconut with the pie crust. So this will be now my new go-to. Like a strong like vanilla caramel type of scent. You can use this on its own for sure because it is like pretty strong for a body spray. I do like that about it. But especially for like layering purposes, this will be good literally from like now until it starts to get warm again. This is definitely not just like a Halloween type of scent. Or if you're like me and you wear gourmands like all year round, then this is like an all year round fragrance. And I really like this one. So for $5.99, I think that is a really good deal. The next one I have here is called Beautiful. And it's in this pink packaging. Really cute. And on the notes here, it says Enchanting Apple Caramel and Moonlight Woods. Again, a lot of apple scents, especially right now because of fall. This is not like your typical fall apple scent like it's not really like a warm sweet apple or anything but it's definitely more of like a sugary sweet apple scent i'm getting the caramel in here the apple note is very strong it's like still like sweet and almost candy like it reminds you of like a jolly rancher or something like that it's very like juicy it almost like makes your mouth water a little bit but it's paired along with like the caramel and the two together it just smells like a candy apple there's something like mouthwateringly sweet in this scent it smells really really good if you like apple scents though if you like more like those candy like apple scents then i think you will like this one i know there's like the new um sugar fleur from victoria's secret like the perfume and i think you could always do this spray with that perfume there's like so many options you can do with that and they have another apple scent here so this one is in the purple packaging i really like the packaging on this one and it's called black magic has notes of wicked watermelon and cauldron candied apples this is definitely like watermelon and candy apple it smells like a candy it's very sweet this one kind of has that like jolly rancher like scent to it as well so i think the biggest difference between these two this one is like caramel and like candied apple and this is just like candy apple with like watermelon this is more of like a fruity sweet scent while this one leans a little bit more gourmand but it's still also a fruity sweet scent if that makes sense i also think with this one it's a little bit lighter on the apple note and i'm getting more of the watermelon in there i don't know if there's other scent notes it's kind of hard because those are the only two listed but i think out of the two notes here i would say the watermelon stands out a little bit more but you can still get like hints of that candy apple mixed in there okay and the last one from good scents here is called black rose and you know before my love of rose scents started i probably would have completely skipped over this like not even given it a chance but i decided to smell it anyways and this has notes of black rose and chilling vanilla and i kind of like this one i don't think this is going to be a really popular one that people like really enjoy unless you're like me and you like rose scents but i think there's something very pretty about this scent because it's mixed in there with the vanilla like it's not just like a straight up like that watery rose like really strong floral i really do smell that vanilla blended in there which i really like there's a scent from bath and body works i think it maybe came out last year maybe even the year before but it was just called the love rose vanilla i have to smell them side by side but this kind of smells like the body mist version of that scent because i do have it in the lotion i think the two would actually layer really well together so if you like those more like sweeter florals i mean it's not the point to where it's like just straight up vanilla with like a hint of rose it's kind of like equally there you can still smell the rose but it's still like sweetened up by the vanilla you know like it's a nice combination so if you like sweet floral scents and you like rose scents then i think this one might also be a good option but i don't know maybe that's an unpopular opinion 
but for me I personally really do like this one and this is one of those scents that you could wear all year round also and my most recent one that I got so this is the one I actually found at TJ Maxx they have a whole other like separate line they're all kind of like in similar packaging there's one I think more of like a candied no like a caramel chai or something like that and there's like a fig one I do have one other scent but it's not in a body mist so I'll share with you guys in just a second in the body mist I only ended up picking up the golden s'mores because I mean look at this packaging you have like little milk chocolate bars graham crackers and marshmallows it is just so cute and it has notes of marshmallow warm chocolate and toasted graham cracker okay you guys um i've been saying real good things about the good scent like so far i've had a pretty good experience with their scents but this one right here what is going on like this is not giving me s'mores like i wanted to smell the chocolate and the marshmallow and this like warm toasted graham cracker scent but to me this smells like super woody not like smoky really but i just smell like wood i don't know how else to explain it but i'm not really getting the marshmallow i'm not really getting the chocolate i don't know if it's like the toasted graham cracker kind of giving off that scent but for me i am just not really getting any of those sweet gourmand scents and this is not at all what I was expecting. I don't I don't really know what to explain other than it just smells like wood. Really interesting. Don't really have anything else like it. I don't know. This could just definitely be me. I mean, you know, everybody's noses picks up differently on things, especially once you get it on your skin. You know, it could smell totally different, but for me personally, I am not getting any of those like sweeter notes. Maybe just like a tiny, tiny bit there once it starts to dry down, but overall, this is just not really what I was expecting, and it is so sad because I really wanted to like this one so I'm curious if any of you guys have this one let me know what you think or how it works out for you because who knows maybe I just got a dud I have no idea I'm just very surprised because it does not smell at all like the notes and um yeah I mean luckily it was only $5.99 but it's gonna be a no for me I am, I'm not a fan of this one and then the last thing that I got from the good scent so like I mentioned they had these other scents that kind of came out in the same collection as this one the s'mores but they do actually have these in perfume so I saw a few other scents in the perfume form I didn't see the s'mores one but I did grab this one in caramel chai and it has notes of sweet caramel chai latte spices and fresh whipped cream and this was for $12.99 I found it at Marshall's and this is a 3.4 fluid ounce bottle so you get a lot of product in here for that price and this is where I needed your guys help if you have this one if you've smelled it or anything like that to me this smells exactly like something I cannot pinpoint exactly what it is I don't know if it's a body mist I don't know if it's a lotion or a perfume but I have smelled this before I don't know what it is I've been trying to figure it out and I just can't I don't know what it is it's something that I like for sure it's something that I'm familiar with but for whatever reason I cannot figure it out so this might be like a dupe for something or something that you know we've seen before but to me this smells really good it's not the most like long-lasting projecting perfume like maybe if you like really overspray it it could be but for the most part I would say this is kind of similar to like a body mist maybe just like a tiny level above that but still for the price I think it's a really good deal to me this smells really good I'm getting like the caramel definitely kind of smells more of like a chai latte with, like a creaminess to it very warm and sweet a very wearable scent like I think if you're just like into these type of scents or like these type of notes I think it's a pretty safe blind buy and this just smells really good on my skin like it really warms up very very sweet and comforting but it's nothing like too much you know like it's still very wearable which I really like okay so I did get this lotion which I shared on my Instagram whenever I first got it I found it at Marshall's and you guys really seem to love it as well especially because of the packaging I mean the packaging I don't know if it's like really doing it justice here but I'll put up a photo but this is the Care Bears body lotion and I had no idea Care Bears even had body care but I saw these sitting on the shelf at Marshall's I think I saw these at TJ Maxx also so you'll probably be able to find them there as well this was for $6.99 it's a pretty large um, bottle of lotion here it's a little over 16 ounces which wow that's that's a lot of lotion I'm not gonna lie 
the packaging played a big role in me purchasing this because I don't need any more lotions. You know, I have a lot of lotions in my collection, but just because this looks so cute and I've never seen Care Bears body care before, I just had to pick it up. So it does say it's strawberry scented here and I did smell it already. I tested a little bit on my hand and to me, this smells so much like strawberry soda from Bath & Body Works, but a little less like bubbly. Like it really had that strong kind of like carbonated bubbly note in strawberry soda. And this just smells like the same type of strawberry note that's in there. Like a little bit more artificial, very candy-like. That is what this smells like to me. If you've been a fan of strawberry soda or just the way that Bath & Body Works does strawberry notes, then I think you will like this one. So yeah, I'm happy I got it. I'll be layering it with my other strawberry scents. I might try it even with like strawberry pound cake. I already tried a little bit with um, Cotton Candy Clouds from Bath & Body Works because that has that like sugared berry note in there and it'll be really cute to display like over on your vanity or your shelf or something, especially if you're into like this kind of like cutesy stuff and especially Care Bears, then I think you will really like this one. One. So I don't know if we'll see more Care Bear body care come out, but so far I've just seen this lotion. Okay, we're getting down to the last few things here. So first off is another one of these, I don't know what this brand is, but I'm sure if you go looking through the Marshalls and TJ Maxx body care section, you're familiar with these. They have a ton of different scents. They're all like milky scents. And this one is the Korean Sugar Candy. So I do already have this in the body lotion, but they also have it in matching body cleansers. You really gotta be careful whenever you're looking for these, depending on like, you know, if you're looking for a lotion or a body wash because the packaging looks the exact same. I just wanted to have this in a body wash. I kind of want to start picking up a few of these. I definitely want to get the strawberry milk one in the body wash because that one smells really good. This just kind of smells more of like a sugar cookie kind of. It's a little bit of a lighter scent. I'm just kind of smelling it now. I think for the first time because I just ended up grabbing it, but the body lotion definitely smells stronger than this. So um, I probably should have smelled that before whenever I was in store. That's yeah, not really a strong scent. I'm a little disappointed. Definitely should have smelled that before. So this was $5.99. Maybe it'll be different once I have it, you know, in the shower and I'm using it. It's not super strong. I would say the lotion definitely smells stronger than the body wash, at least in this scent. I did also grab another body wash. This I found at Marshall's. Why did they go and put this big old sticker here on the front? I'm gonna have to work on getting that off and like not ruining the label here, but this is one from Scentworks and this is their shower gel in golden vanilla. Now I think this is like, it probably is my number one scent from Scentworks. It just smells so good. Like this is top tier right here. This has the quality of like the original coconut cream pie, the original pumpkin pecan waffles, like that level of like strength in body care. This smells so good. If you're into like any of those type of scents, I'm sure you're gonna like this one as well. It says rich vanilla blended with sponge sugar and coconut cream. It smells so delicious i have it in the i have it in the lotion or like the body cream and the fragrance mist this smells so good mm, this paired with coconut cream pie that is like the perfect match right there they smell so good together this was only 3.99 and i don't think i had any other scent works shower gels or like body washes or anything so for 3.99 this was a good deal and like i said you know how i'm starting this like new purse obsession which I have no business doing. Well, now I kind of want to get like purse accessories. So where do you guys get like all your little purse things, like little pouches and wallets? Do you just like shop at Marshalls and TJ Maxx and things? I'm kind of like want to get some like little things to put in my bag. So I ended up grabbing this. It's from the Cream Shop and it's the Hello Kitty line. I've always kind of seen these, but I've never grabbed anything. And this is the Handy Dandy Cream in Birthday Cake. They usually have a few different scents in these. I think for what it is, it's like kind of expensive. This was $5.99. I don't know that seems like kind of a lot for like something so small because it's just like a little hand cream but the scent birthday cake and just look at the packaging hopefully it'll focus on that but it just looks so adorable I just wanted to try this one out I've seen other scents in this so far that have kind of passed on before that's no longer available so I decided just to grab it now while I saw it in stock and I found this at Marshall's I just got this the other day that 
is everything. I feel like I've been here a lot longer than expected and I felt like I was going through things fast, but here we are again, another long video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and just loved going through all the new stuff that I got. If you guys have picked up any purses, any new body care, let me know what you got. Tag me on Instagram or whatever. I want to see what you guys got and hear about all the new things. So if you've made it this far, thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys watching and just hanging out with me. Like I talked about in my last video, I just, I wasn't feeling myself. I wasn't feeling 100% and I'm definitely enjoying getting back into the swing of things. And nothing really makes me happier than sitting here and just like talking about random things and whatnot. Thank you all so, so much for being here. And if you guys did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel and helps some of the videos whenever you do that. So I truly, truly appreciate it. Thank you all so, so much for being here. If you have not subscribed, I would love it if you did and make sure to turn your post notifications. That way you guys won't miss any future videos. I love you all so much and I will talk to you very soon. Bye-bye.